You want to make a Minecraft server, we're going to show you exactly how to do it in 2026. Let's get started. First things first, you're going to need to download the Minecraft server file. There's a link in the description below to here, which is our in-depth text guide. This is going to be up to date in 2026 no matter what. Let's say they completely change how you make servers, but you've still found this video. This article will still be up to date. Go ahead and click download here to go to the most recent download version or download the most recent version of the Minecraft server files. This is most likely going to be Minecraft server 26 point whatever. Go ahead and click on this Minecraft underscore server here and the download will begin where you'll need to keep or save the file. Now while this is downloaded, I do want to mention the server we're making here is not going to be up 24-7. It is also hosted on your own computer, meaning you're going to need a pretty good computer in order to actually run the server. And you're also going to need really good internet because anyone who joins this server is using your internet connection. and and can also figure out where you live down to your latitude and longitude coordinates. And because of that, it's meant for your friends, your family, people you trust. So what if you don't want to have to worry about any of that? You don't want to have to worry about the security, the hardware the server's hosted on. You just want to basically set up the server, customize it how you want, and join it. Well, that's where our hosting provider, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Check it out at the first link in the description down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash simple to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods, plugins, and mod packs to your server and truly customize the server any way that you want. And there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way. So don't struggle to host a Minecraft server. Start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash simple. Now at this point, our server file is downloaded so we can go ahead and minimize our browser. And I'm going to make a new folder on our desktop here called Minecraft server because, well, that's what it is. Minecraft 2026 server. And then we want to find that server file and move it into this folder on our desktop. So here it is for me, this server.jar. Drag and drop that into this folder. Now to start this server, assuming you have Java set up and everything like that, you can just double click on it and it should go ahead and start or attempt to start. It's actually going to fail, but what if that doesn't work? What if you double click on this file and it doesn't generate these things? It just doesn't happen or it tries to open up in some program or something. Well, in that case, you need to get Java. Now currently it's Java 21, but it may change in the future to a different Java version, but we have a guide in the description down below on how to get it and this will always work for the most recent version of Minecraft. Just click download here and then you want to go to Windows and download the x64 installer file. From there, Java installs just like any other program but you're not necessarily done yet. We also recommend going and getting the jar fix. That just means clicking this download jar fix button here. It will download right away. Double click to run it on your computer and it will link Java to your server jar file that you downloaded. So basically get Java, then run the jar fix, and then you'll be able to open up the server.jar by double clicking on it. Once you've double clicked on it, you will get these files and folders here and you'll have this eula.txt file. Go ahead and open that up and change eula equals false to eula equals true, T-R-U-E exactly like that, assuming you agree to the Minecraft eula. Then go ahead and click File, Save, and now just double click that server.jar again and your server will start. At this point, you can actually join your server, so I'm also going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now, the server will look like this when it starts, and you can actually kind of manage everything from this panel. For example, if we come over here and type OP and then whatever your username is, that's going to allow you to do things like run commands, ban people, but also change your game mode, stuff like that in game. While Minecraft's launching, we'll go ahead and mention one more thing here, and that's in the server folder itself. You probably want to customize this server. Maybe you want to change the render distance or the message of the day, which is what shows on like the multiplayer screen. Well, in that case, you want to go to server.properties here, and there's a ton of stuff you can change, including allow flight. If you're getting kicked for flight, for example, you could set this to true and it'll fix that. And you can even come here and change like the difficulty as well as the default game mode, things like that. So nevertheless, this is super great to look at. Just make sure whenever you're done editing this file, you click save, and then you want to stop the server by coming over here and typing stop, hitting enter, and then restarting the server by double clicking the server.jar file. By stopping the server like that it saves everything you're good to go it's completely safe to do that and then by restarting it by double clicking the server.jar again it go ahead and launches everything with your newly set files and basically settings now we can go to multiplayer and we can go ahead and add server here for the name we can just do local server because this is a local server to you right now you're the only person that can join your server we're just testing it so for the server address we're going to do local host again you're the only person that can use this ip but when we click done it will go ahead and resolve and we can double click and see us join in here on the left hand side. As you can see, Nick's Games has joined and that is me. So here we are in game, run around. If things are good, performing well, all of that stuff with just you on the server, then it's time to get your friends on the server. And to do that, you're going to need to port forward. And there's an in-depth guide
guide in the description down below on how to port forward a Minecraft server. It covers every single step from start to finish to port forward and make sure you get things online. We've also got this guide, which is how to fix a broken Minecraft server. If you run into issues, it's a great resource, but the comments are also open as well. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but enjoy your brand new Minecraft server, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.